welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm in a different spot again today. You'll notice that I've just been swapping it around quite a lot um, because obviously I have a new house so I've got loads of different places that I can film. Um, but today I am filming in my wardrobe slash office corner um, because I have this rail and I have so many things to show you in a haul that I just thought it would be easier to just stand here and kind of go through them all um, and also I just thought it was quite a nice way of doing it. Um, rather than kind of sitting down on my bed. I don't know, I just thought it was a better way of presenting it to you guys. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd go through my things that I've been buying recently. Obviously, like, there's some things I may not have got on, on here. There's some things you will have seen before. I haven't done a haul in so long, so these aren't necessarily recent purchases. They're just things that I've been buying over the last few weeks. Um, there are th some things that aren't on here, because I just have so much stuff to show you that I've just kind of picked, like, the top things that I love. Um, so yeah, I wanted to get started straight away because there's so many things to go through. But if you don't already, then make sure you subscribe to me because I do one video a week every Sunday and it's like fashion rated mainly. I do do occasional other videos, but usually they're like additional extras and sometimes I do two videos a week, but I like guarantee one. So yeah, if you want to subscribe, then I would love that. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna get started. So I'm going to show you accessories first because I have quite a few to show you. And the first thing is this bag which is insane. So this is not a Chloe bag, this is a dupe for a Chloe bag and it's £18.24. Um, and I love the Chloe bag, like don't get me wrong, I'm not a huge fan of dupes because obviously since I've been able to afford buying a designer bag, it kind of means that when you don't, when you buy a fake it makes that huge purse just seem a bit weird um so i feel like usually you're either a dupe person or you're not but to me this bag is not necessarily the most practical bag it's quite showy it's definitely not a classic so i would not have spent the amount of money it costs originally on this bag i do have a real chloe bag um that i did spend a lot of money on but it's a classic and it's something i always wear so to me that's kind of like what determines whether i buy the real thing or a fake. So another accessory I got recently are these earrings from Free People and they are so pretty. They have like big crosses on. I got these because they really remind me of Dolce and Gabbana. Um, I love the big crosses. I'm just going to put them on and show you them on. Um, I think they're super cool and really like statement. Then another accessory piece of jewellery I got is this watch. It's from Henry London. I've actually put a blog post up today as I'm filming which is a week before you'll see this video I think um, and um, it was of this watch so there's some really nice shots of it so I'll put a picture in of me wearing it so you can see it properly and also put a link below to the blog post then finally I have a few chokers from Accessorize which is somewhere that I don't often go to look for jewellery which is kind of crazy because obviously that's like the main thing they do but they do some really cute chokers these ones are like really delicate with um, shapes on them and you can wear them like all together separately. I've also got another choker on today from Accessorize. I don't know if you can see, it's like little stars and it's so pretty. I got loads of compliments on all this. So this is an amazing denim jacket and the reason why I kept this one is because I love it. It's so soft and like, I think I might have actually shown you guys this in my new look haul. I'll link it below, I think I did, but I'm showing you it again because I love it. It's a really nice lightweight um, denim jacket, it's got like distressed bits here 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 and like what I love about this is it's distressed like um all the denim jackets that you see but it's not too distressed because it's not like got some of them have got like giant holes in the arms and your skin's like poking out this has just got like really light really light distressedness on it so it, it is distressed but it's not like outrageously distressed so on to dresses I was going to organize this into brands and then I was like no I'm going to do in sections of like types of products so dresses and play suits is like all the way up to here so pretty much the whole thing is dress and play suits i feel like right now i should have been doing a summer haul because obviously we are mid-summer but at the same time it's not summery at all in the uk but obviously you guys aren't all from the uk and just because it's not sunny doesn't mean that we're not going to still wear summer dresses so i have this dress here which is super cute and it has like a ruffle detail here, it's flare sleeve, it's from Sabo Skirt of course, most of this stuff is. Um, it's like really nice candy stripes in like, I don't know if these are candy stripes? It's like blue and white and then you've got like a little belt here so you can wear it straight down 
or you can tie it on the waist, which I like to do. Some people I've seen wearing this as like a little scarf or a neckerchief or a, like a little headscarf. It looks really cute. There's so many different ways to wear it and just think it's like the perfect summer. And it's quite good for this time of weather because it's got the long sleeves too, so it's not like too summery. So next I have this dress from She Inside, which was I think about £10, which is not an overreaction. I actually have a blog post going up with this and a few of the other things in here. They're all like She Inside wrap dresses that are under £15. And I think that it's already up when this goes live. It was probably up yesterday or the day before. So I'll link that below too. Um, and this is like a striped it's like a linen material, so it's really nice and perfect for like daytime. But I always think with wrap dresses that you can literally, they're like an anytime dress, you can dress them up, you can dress them down, you can wear them day, evening, like weddings. Like honestly, they're just such perfect dress for anything. And this is like a really simple wrap over style. It's got the linen material, it's slightly longer, which is quite good for daytime because you're not gonna flash anyone. Um, and it's got like spaghetti straps um, and it's not too low either. Like as someone with not boobs, not many boobs or no boobs at all, um, I often find that dress is going to be a bit low and like if you haven't got boobs then they're like twice as low because you haven't got something to like make it stick out. So yeah, it's not too low which is also great. So next I have one of my favourite dresses in this haul which is from Revolve and a brand at Revolve called Tula Rosa or Tula Rosa and I love it so much. I'm going to try all these things on anyway. Um, and these are the little straps so you can wear it just as a barjo dress like this or you can have um, the straps. It is very short, but I think because it's like flouncy, it doesn't look slutty or like too short. It's just a really pretty dress. And also it's not ironed, FYI. And I just think the material, like it's kind of quinky material, so you can get away with not ironing it. Um, I've actually seen since I got this on Sincerely Jewels and maybe Collage Vintage, like basically loads of my favorite bloggers wearing it. Um, and I also put a really cute picture of me wearing it with my puppy dog and she's so cute. So I'm gonna put that picture up here so you can see it. And yeah, I just really love this. It's really, I think this is more of like a day dress because I think you could dress it up with like um, espadrilles or something, but I wear it with like um, my espadrilles. <laughs> I mean like evening espadrilles, like heeled ones. I wear it with my, my flat forms. Um, and then I have another dress. Oh no, this is a play suit from Sabo Skirt. It's got really cute like ring detail here. And then it's got a tie. It's really nice material. It's like dobby kind of material. Um, and it is, yeah, it's like a really cute little play suit. It's very floaty. It's very soft and very lightweight. It's perfect for holidays. You can again tie the tie around the waist, around the neck, around the head, any way you want. And... Um, yeah, it's just another like perfect. I love white places. I just think they're so perfect for summer and just also timeless Like I don't think this is a trend piece. I just think it's something I'll wear this summer next summer and the summer after that So another wrap dress from that blog post I was telling you about is this one from She Inside and it is major realization par vibes I've tied it up really weirdly on the hanger because it just doesn't look right But it's got like the ruffle detail here. It's got ruffle detail on the bottom It's like black and white polka dot. It's got spaghetti straps It's really fun and flirty and cute and just like perfect for summer And also I've seen people layer these ones under like a white t-shirt and I think it looks really cool Don't know if I could pull it off, but I feel like it's a really cool look and also yeah, if you didn't, and also do you know what, I think that would look really cool tucked into jeans too, it's like a wrap top body thing, um, and it looks cute under like cardigans and like denim jackets, and yeah, I just think there's so many different ways you can wear it, and it's like a, another classic one again that you could wear like day, night, to like summer parties, like a barbecue, you could wear it to a wedding, to a christening, like, well maybe not a wedding because it's white, but you know, you get the idea. Next we have another play suit from Sabo Skirt, of course, because they're the queen of play suits. Um, and then this is just like a really simple one with a low neck. And I love the sleeves of this one because they're a bit longer, but they're like not short sleeve, but not long sleeve, they're like half sleeve. Um, and this is like linen material, um, really simple, like more structured. It's, again, it's got a wrap, which I would wear around, but you can tie it at the front or the back. I quite like it tied at the back because the back is where it's all going on because Voila, it has like this really cool detail here of like the lace up. Have seen people wearing it the other way around, a bit too risque for me. But if you want to get your tits out, then you could definitely wear it back to front. Um, and yeah, I think it's really cute. And such again, it's just such a timeless piece. Like, I think Sabo Skirt's quite good at like just essential summer pieces that will just never go out of style. Which leads me on to my next Sabo Skirt piece, which is really hard to show you on the hanger because it is a boob tube 
pants or strapless play suit which um it's just like really loose layered i've definitely done those shorts weird because i don't know why there's like an extra bit hanging out here but anyway yeah so it's like really simple um flowy and then you can add this on it uh which makes it like a bit cinched in at the waist and maybe a little bit dressier and or you can wear this as a necktie or a head tie a million times but yeah this is a really cute simple one this is like the most simple holiday boho chic timeless piece probably so next i've got two dresses from hush so this is the first one and it's so pretty i actually did a blog post on this and everyone loved it so i'll put some pictures in and link it below um and this is a really cute like a baby doll one and i actually did a blog post about this um and how to style it because i feel like dresses like this are so pretty but because of the ditzy print and the style of it sometimes people think like you're pregnant or you think you look pregnant or you're prone to looking pregnant or like a little girl so i've basically done a blog post on how to style things like this and how you can like balance your outfit in certain ways and there's ways of styling things to make them look not like really girly so you can style like a girly piece and like giving an edge so another thing that i got from hush was this pink like salmon colour dress and it's like a bardo style it's really simple and cute and like perfect for just throwing on when you like don't know what to wear and you want to look good um, and it's like made of this like linen -y material which is super cozy, cozy, super comfy and it just looks amazing with like gold details like how cool like, does it look with this bag they're just like made for each other and another bardo dress you can tell I love bardo is this gingham beauty from Missy Empire so it's like really oversized check which I love and I love mixing ginghams too actually I think they look amazing um, and I haven't had anything gingham in a while like I used to wear gingham all the time in the beginning of spring and then I think I kind of like OD'd on it so then um, I really um, just stopped buying it and I love this one so much it's got like a really cute like ruffle which is like a raw hem sewn on across there which is super flattering BTW love this kind of style Oh, it's kind of like short sleeves with the ruffle detail um, and it's super flattering and um, I can't wait to try this on. I haven't actually tried it on yet so this is like a real first impression and it's got this tie again which is optional. I mean this isn't Sarbo's skirt but I'm sure you could wear it on your neck, on your hair, on your waist. I feel like I'm like Joey um, in that TV show like mayonnaise, paper, a ghost, <laughs> hair, neck and the waist. But anyway yeah so... <laughs> that one is super cute and then i've got another sabo skirt beauty which it probably looks quite dirty because i've just got it out of the washing pile to show you guys um but it's just basically i wore it with wash off fake tan so the whole inside is like brown um so yeah it definitely needs a wash but i love this so much so so much i did an outfit post on this so i'll put the link to that below which is actually the same one for that bag and um the watch so yeah that's what we're doing anyway really love this i really love it it's kind of like a waffly knit um which is really cute it's kind of got like a turtleneck but not like a proper turtleneck um and it's long sleeves and it's just perfect for this time of year in england because let's face it the weather we're having is crap but because it's a dress like it's kind of like a jumper it keeps you warm but not too warm because it's waffle knit so it's not like bluffy and it's just you can still wear like bare legs and boots and feel like you're kind of embracing summer but you'll be warm so it's like perfect for that and i've been wearing it loads and loving it and i've only just got this too so like this is like a definite wardrobe staple for me and we have the most magnificent dress from it's free people which is so beautiful all their pieces are like insanely gorgeous and this is no exception so i don't know if this is actually like a summer cover-up type thing because it's very low very 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 low like i could not wear this without something underneath and not show up on my tits so I wear it at the bandeau and it looks really nice. So I'll put a picture up of how I wore it actually. Um, and it's also in a lookbook so I'll link that. I'll just link everything that has like anything mentioned in it. Um, but yeah it looks really cute. It's got like a slit here so when you wear it it kind of hangs down like that. Um, and it's really short but not like too short because it's floaty. It's got really pretty like tassel ties on it and it's just like the cutest prettiest summer dress and i'm just kind of in love with free people at the moment i think all of their stuff's amazing it's amazing quality so pretty it's just like so summer it's unreal we have another dress from sabo skirt this is really similar to my yellow one which i'll put a picture in the only difference i can think is it's not one it's not as structured and two it's only got one spaghetti strap instead of two 
um, but it's very pretty and it's kind of like in a washed out lime green colour which is really unusual actually I haven't seen anything else on their website in this colour maybe it's something they're like introducing and to be honest I haven't really seen much of this colour like this shade of green around on the high street anywhere so it's really unusual and really cute it's got this same wrap detail here which is super flattering it's linen -y material which is very reformation and pretty um, and yeah so this one I realised why it's different so this one is Sabe Skirt and the other one was Sabe Skirt Luxe so we have another wrap dress here from She Inside. I think this one was really expensive compared to the other ones. It was like £13 and when I say 13 I mean one three. And yeah, it's crazy. But this is really pretty. This is like more of the kind of traditional um, wrap dress style you would expect. Um, and it is, so it's like a tea dress if you know what I mean. So it's like the ones you see in Topshop and stuff. It's got the really pretty like floaty sleeves wrap over ruffle detail here and it's just something that you could wear again day night wedding christening like any event it's really pretty color yellow is like totally in at the moment and the pattern is very kind of it's got quite autumnal tones in it so though you could wear it you will well you can wear it now and you can wear it in summer and stuff because of the tones i think it would also look really cute in winter too like if you're someone who wears tights i'm really not i hate tights like can't even like get over to how much I hate tights. But you could probably wear this with tights if you like tights. I don't suggest them. And I have another Sabo Skirt Beauty, which is this one. And it's quite hard to show you it because it's basically it's like a straight across bardo dress. And it's got this like lettuce kind of detail here. I think that's what it's called, like a lettuce hem. Um, and it's like a ribbed jersey material. Very different from what I normally see from Sabo Skirt. I think you'll agree from looking at all the other stuff. But I quite like it actually. So they're obviously bringing in some more like basics. And I think this is really cute. I think this would look amazing as a dress. But also I would wear it tucked in. So it looked like a body. And um, with like my Gucci belt and some jeans. I think it would look really nice. But not the final thing. Um, and this is a little shift dress. And it's very, very cute. Kind of reminds me of like a baseball dress. If that's a thing. But it's got like the baseball stripes here. So it's like white with black stripes. It's got black edging kind of like linen -y material which when you look at it it looks like it would be jersey but no it's linen and it's very cute very pretty very wearable so like simple again I really like this piece I think this is something that I'll wear a lot a lot a lot a lot um and I can just imagine me pairing with like my Balenciagas with my Supergas and so keep an eye out on my Instagram if you don't already follow me I'll put like my um details here um and yeah there'll be lots of pictures of all these things there and then the final play suits dress thing I've got is this from Free People. And I actually got this for my holiday and it didn't come in time. So I was gutted because it is like the perfect kind of like beach play suit. It's made of um, like jersey material. So it's super soft. It's got like a crossover back detail. Um, and I just think it's so perfect and easy to wear. I actually think this would look quite cute with like a t-shirt underneath. But I have planned to wear it with just a bikini. Um, so if you're going on holiday then I recommend getting this. Personally I'm going to have to book another holiday because I wanted to wear this for holiday. Um, but I'll show you it tried on and it's got pockets as well which is amazing because I love anything with pockets. So next I have a very expensive t-shirt and it is a Balmain t-shirt. Um, and I've seen the design slogan tees going around for a while and then I finally decided on this one and I actually got it in collaboration with Balm, um, not Balmain, with Farfetch and I did a collaboration with them. So. I'll link that below so you can see the full post and it's got the most amazing like um, button detail here if you can see with like the Balmain lion and it's absolutely beautiful it's got like gold detail and I just got this because I thought it was really simple but it has like those extra special details rather than some of the other slogan tees like you kind of wonder why they're so expensive like the Gucci one's like three to four hundred pounds and they've literally just screen printed a white t-shirt whereas this at least has like something more to it and also I just think it's very simple and I'm such a simple person so I just would wear this with denim and yeah I just think it's a bit different to a plain white tee. Then I have another white t-shirt this one's long sleeve from Adidas and I actually got this in the ASOS sales and I don't know if it's men's or women's I got it in like a large because I thought it looked really cute oversized and um, I actually got this on the cruise I saw someone was wearing it I was like, they're wearing a bikini and this, and they're wearing this as a cover-up, and it looks so nice on her. 
like honestly don't think it looks good on me as it does on her but this will look really cute for like denim shorts in the summer it's like a light evening layer i thought but also it's kind of like all year round just quite a good basic to have logos are in this is way more affordable than the balmain logo t-shirt and yeah i really like the short sleeve versions of this too but i don't have like a long sleeve t-shirt type thing so it'll be good to add to my collection and i have another shirt from free people and this is actually um part of their beach range and i got it for my holiday again it just didn't come in time which i was gushed about um and i was actually planning on wearing this as a cover-up but i think it would look quite cool open as a kimono too so i'm going to show you a style like that because um but obviously you'll see that it would look amazing with a um swim costume that's covered up as well so if you were going to go on holiday then i de definitely recommend this and it's quite nice material too it's very comfortable and quite substantial and it will look nice just as a long sleeve dress uh, long like longer length dress as well or you could like unbutton it so it's kind of like a slit up the front so this would be perfect because if you were going to the beat and then you're going for lunch after then you could wear this as a cover up and just like button it up when you want to go and eat something and you don't want to be nude in the restaurant then i have actually got some stuff from french connections new collection which is kind of like their transitional stuff and this is super cute and also timeless and also perfect for transitional um, and this is a little Breton tee and it's got like a velvet kind of quote on the front or like um, words, I a slogan. I don't know what it says because I know that says French. I don't know what that means. It doesn't even... Oh, I'm such an idiot. It means French connection <laughs> in French. Oh my God, I'm such an idiot. But yeah, that's really cute. I really mean, like that. <laughs> such an idiot. Um, but this is like three corner sleeves. Really cute. It's really simple. I can't believe I'm such an idiot. Um, and <laughs> this will look super cute with the skirt which I'm going to show you in a minute but I'm not finished on tops so I've got one more top to show you and then I'll show you the skirt and then I'm done no I'm not, I've got shoes too um, <laughs> so then we have this top from Sabo skirt which is like a little crop top again very different to the other stuff that I've seen them doing and I really like that actually because I love basics it's kind of got like a tiny little bit of a turtleneck it's rib detail, it's got that lettuce hem detail again um, and it's kind of got like a little bit of a longer sleeve and it crops here perfectly for if you want to wear it with like denim shorts um, or high waisted jeans or like a high waisted skirt then I have the final piece of clothing which is this skirt from French Connection and my she inside skirt which I love two pieces and I'll put a picture here and link it below has actually ripped and um, it's my fault because I like sat across legged in it and it just went um, and I can still wear it, but it's probably not decent to wear it. It's a bit indecent. And um, French Collection kindly sent me this skirt, and it's basically, it was just like God was answering my prayers for any denim skirt, because this is perfect. And it's quite a good length. It's not, like, too short. Um, it's kind of like an A-line style, so it's not too tight, so it's not going to rip like the she inside one did, because that was quite a pencil kind of style, which is, I think, why it ripped. Um, and also it's kind of patchwork without being too like out there it's got um half blue half dark blue and then the back is dark blue so then i just have two pairs of shoes to show you and i am done you'll be glad to hear um so these shoes are from my good friend lissy's collection and they are insane so i'm really proud of her she's just launched her own collection with um public desire and basically they have four styles so two styles in two colorways so she has four styles and they're amazing so these were actually featured in Marie Claire um, and she chose to send me this pair and I feel like they have such a designer look to them because this heel is insane like honestly I feel like that's something that Balmain would do with someone and it looks really designer and they're so cool um, and yeah so they're like a uh, kind of um, pointed mule but, I mean, you could tuck the ribbon in if you just wanted to wear them as a pointed mule. But if you wanted to, then you can have the ribbon, which is super cool. And you can either tie it all the way up your leg, or you can just tie it around the ankle. But these are super cool and, like, designer-esque. And let me just show you it with the ribbon tucked in, because also, if you wanted to, you could wear it like that for, like, a more sleek kind of look. Um, and they are super cool, and I love them. So I'm going to try those on to show you as well. I'll try everything on. I'm just going to stop saying that. I'm going to try on. Um, but I'm really proud of her because these are amazing and they also come in like pink or silver and then she's got some boots which are amazing they're like painted black with a gingham, gingham heel and I feel like 
boots like that are perfect for the transitional season too because boots and dresses are like the perfect combo. Then uh, another pair of shoes I got recently are these ones and these are from Castagna um, and I got them off Farfetch um, and they are amazing and I love them so much. They're like kind of like heeled espadrilles but I felt like heeled espadrilles are quite girly and like womanly so I didn't really want to get them even though I wanted them I just didn't know if I'd wear them that much or if they weren't like me enough and then I saw these ones I've got like a little bit of a platform here and I felt like they were so much more me my style I love that they've got like a little V here um, and then they're like con clashing like red colours and then this kind of like ties up here and yeah I just really love these I wore them all the time in the Cayman Islands and they looked perfect if you want to see my Cayman Island look lookbook I'll link that below um, I don't think I actually wore shoes in my lookbook though which is weird so but I think these are in maybe one. But anyway, yeah, I wore these. They go with all the summer dresses. All of the, like, white dresses. They just kind of, like, add a bit of something, something. And obviously I wear my Superga Espadrilles all the time. So I was like, you get me some that I can wear in the evening. Because I love them. So, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope it wasn't too long. I know I've already been filming for about 45 minutes. So <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to shrink this into a uh, watchable length of time. It might be quite jumpy. Because I'm going to have to cut out loads of my blabbering on. But I hope you liked the video and um, let me know as well if you'd rather me like talk about things for longer and um, do a longer haul or if you like it when I'm like just really quickly go through everything and it's like a more manageable video. Also I'm going to try and do hauls more regularly so that it's not like one insanely huge one. I just literally haven't had the chance to sit down. I've had so many other videos I wanted to film for you guys so yeah, I'm going to try and be better at that and then maybe I'll just do them as like additional videos rather than my weekly videos, which I did say I was going to do, so I am going to do that. Um, and yeah, thanks so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. Um, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. I do one video a week on a Sunday and then additional ones in the week. And I'll see you soon. Bye!